You know what a mean standard deviation and correlation coefficient are? Now we're going to illustrate how to calculate them in Excel. Here is a version of question 2 on homework 1, and we want you to calculate the mean, geomean, we'll do that on a different video, and standard deviation. Mean, it's really easy, mean, excuse me, average, use the average function, so it's an average, here we're going to calculate the stock price average, we do that, and from between 1928 and 2018, average mean of stock prices is 1135. All right, now we want to know the standard deviation. We just come in here and write our formula for the standard deviation. There it is, standard deviation. We want it of this series. There you go. This has a standard deviation of 19.57%. All right. There. We want to know the correlation coefficient between stocks and three-month T-bill. We will use the correlation function, C-O-E-R-R-E-L in Excel. Our, and we need two series here. The first one's going to be stocks. The second one will be three-month T-bills. We got them arrayed. Our correlation coefficient is minus 0 0.03. Remember, correlation coefficients range from 1, positively correlated, to minus 1, negatively, cor or negatively opposite of one another. 0 0.03 is pretty close to 0. All right, you need to calculate all the remainder of those stocks, three months. What do you think this one is? Three month and stocks versus stocks and three month. I'll tell you right now, they're the same. All right, go forward and calculate those. There's another video with the geo mean.